Hi, this is Stacey from Healthy Business Finances. Today I just wanted to discuss your zero data file and whether or not you've looked at the invoices that you're sending out to customers. Quite a few people would come to me and say, Stacey, my customers aren't paying in line with my terms. They've agreed with my terms, but I just don't receive payment. The first question I always ask to them is, have you checked your invoice has your bank account details on it? Um, most often uh, my clients don't even know how to check that and the second thing they find out is they're actually sending out invoices from zero with no bank details on them. So there's simply no way that the clients can even make that payment. So today I wanted to show you how you check your what your invoices are looking like that you're sending to your customers and then you'll need to think about whether or not your bank details need to be on the invoice and how to get them on there. So the first thing is when you come into Zero and you're taken to your dashboard, I would go and have a look under accounts in the top toolbar and then sales and I would try and find a sale that you've previously created. Now in this system which is just a test system for these purposes, I've got one sale here uh, under awaiting payment so I can click on that $300 or I can come down to the Mary Smith for the $300. Clicking on that will take you to the invoice and then it's invoice 0001. So I click to drill down to the individual invoice. Now you won't be able to tell from this screen what your invoice looks like, but in the top here there's a print PDF button. So I suggest you click on that. And print now and it will enable you to open the invoice to screen. So this is what my invoice looks like. So it's got my company name, which I've just set as test organization. It's got my address, which at the moment is just a pretend address for the sake of the, the tutorial. It's got the date of the invoice, the invoice number, a reference, the description of the invoice, which is all fantastic. But if I scroll down on that invoice, there is no bank details on there for my client to make an EFT payment. Now about 95% of payments are made by EFT these days. People will just do a bank transfer in line with your payment terms. And if you don't have your EFT details on that invoice, you're making it so much harder to receive the money that you're due. So despite Zero having a default invoice setting template, I always review the invoice template as part of my service to make sure such simple problems like having your bank details are corrected instantly. If you've done the work, you deserve to get paid, so just make it as easy as possible for your clients. If you have any questions about how to get the bank details on the invoice, by all means this is something we can go through in a financial strategy session, so please feel free to contact me. You can find my details on www.healthybusinessfinances.com.au. Thanks.